guys that on camera if you hear the background my little brothers are arguing right now but sorry that you can't even see any of this i'm probably gonna do an updated video in the morning because my spirit halloween actually did open uh they decided to this year at first they said that they weren't but they ended up doing it they had a bunch of stuff they had said they opened up monday and we never knew um but almost everything was sold out like they would put stuff on the shelves and it would immediately go gone or leave because people were buying the whole store out. But I was able to find this and I've been looking for a jumpsuit because this Halloween I wasn't sure what I was going to wear. And this is actually a spruce green um, uh, jumpsuit um, or coveralls as you can say. Like it kind of looks like the... Michael Myers ones, but it's just a, like a polyester or not even that much of a polyester. I think it's like a, um, it's kind of coarse feeling. It's kind of, it kind of feels like polo shirt and sorry, it's getting even more loud, but yeah, I got that right there. And as you guys can see, since this, um, and don't worry guys, um, I'm not going to actually be using this mask for this cosplay. Well, let me just tell you what the cosplay is first. This is actually my Roy Burns. Uh, I'm try I've been trying to form a Roy Burns uh, Jason 5 cosplay. Or not really Jason, Imposter Jason. I know that movie's really hated to a lot of Jason fans because it wasn't. I honestly think that it was a good movie. I think Roy was freaking awesome. I think it was way better than uh, 7 and 8, 9. You know... Now that's the definition of trash. Uh, now, on camera it looks very blue. So, and this bed sheet is blue. So, you're not gonna be able to see it. But let's see. Let me just get a part of it out. Yeah, it's actually green. It looks very dark of blue, which I actually almost did get the blue version. This thing just caught my eye, and I'm like, oh yeah, that's the actual color. Cause you might not notice, but in part five, it wasn't actually a blue coverall was actually like a spruce green and I ended up finding it. One thing with this costume though is that it it's I got like a too big of a size. Like I got a men's like X extra large which I didn't need to. All I really needed was a a large because I really wanted to use this for a long time and guys just look at that. This costume is huge that I'm not sure if I'm going to cut some of it or um, I'm going to fold it in and sew it. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see the green and the lighting. Yeah, you can actually see that's pretty, pretty green. But, yeah, most people who are high on, like, mask and, like, or costume creators would be like, Oh, that's just mass produced and that, that sucks and uh, looks nothing like the movie. Actually, I did some pictures uh, in comparison and... This costume's not bad. It actually looks almost very identical to the one used on screen, other than it not being like actual um, mechanic or coverall suit material. And just kind of covered over defects. It's like it's kind of like a darker, darker green on camera. This one's kind of like a dark and light. It falls in between the lines of there, but. Yeah, like, you're not going to find something extremely accurate in the wild of Halloween costumes. And, again, this was only a 30 buck, 30 bucks, $30 costume at Spirit, which I think is kind of bargain, because a lot of Spirit Halloween stuff is so overpriced, and it's unaffordable. And I was going to be Michael Myers this year. I ended up passing up, because... Every Michael Myers mask that I found was from Trick or Treat Studios and it was going to be 70 bucks for something that's completely cheaply made and very, so very not screen accurate like the economy mask that they came out with. I think that mask was like 10 times, even more than 10 times better looking like than the one used for some of their other sculpts but back on to Roy Burns this actually does have the same pattern right here you can't see that let me get it to light um, even now you can't even see it but 
there's actually where when the that scene sorry let me put you guys down for a sec uh, sorry. that scene where Reggie is driving the tractor and hits Roy with the well, he hits Roy with it and it kind of just splices him in the stomach and you know blood gashes through it it actually has the same exact uh, same exact uh, design and right here. It looks exactly how it did in that movie, which like you can't see it at all because I'm filming on a dumb old uh, tablet camera that I've had for ages. Um, yeah, so it's actually a pretty nice costume. What I got right now is just my little brother's mask. He got this at Spirit along with a inaccurate ghost face knife. Uh, yeah, it's pretty hollow and cheap and kind of crappy. It has no chevrons. It glows in the dark. On camera, it looks way better. On In person, this thing doesn't look so great. So I will not be using this for Halloween. No way. Uh, that's a pass. Now, I do have a uh, Zagoni Studios Johnny mask, which it actually looks pretty good with that mask on it covering the face like the bald part only problem is that you can see your hair through the back of right here but yeah this is what I have for right now uh, maybe like in October when I can find one online that looks kinda like the Roy Burns mask or just get like another old man mask and just cut out the face to make it look like the hood or just yeah, fall in there. I, I'm not sure, but this actually works pretty good with it. I'm not gonna. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this or getting like just a Friday the Thirteenth hood, cause I will not get one from Ruby's. That thing's trash. It has blood gashed all over it. Looks nothing like Friday the Thirteenth hood. So, yeah, it's like the best thing I can get to right now. Plus, I already had this sitting around since June. Yeah. Um. Uh, and. I consider my this costume like I give it a 10 out of 10 rating. Uh, I just wish I could have got a better size. I do have the I can return this one. It's just that I'd rather not, seeing that I already have it and that there was like some in uh, bigger size and smaller size. Yeah. And there was this was like the best one there. Because the other ones looked like they had been opened already. So this one was like super sealed. And yeah. I didn't get a mask this year. Because uh, a lot of people are not wearing masks in my area. And not face masks. And they went into the store. There was like one person I saw. And you know, a whole family. And they were just trying on masks with no face masks on. And they got in so much trouble by the spirit. I think they had to leave. Because they were trying on just like all of the masks without permission. Which you're not supposed to do. And they got the spirit Halloween one. We're adjusting in there. Like they always have. But yeah. I mean, this mask is okay for what it is. I know it's not supposed to be the Friday the 13th mask. It just called hockey, glow in the dark hockey mask. But I'm sure if you had gave it a little rehaul or something or drilled a little more holes in it, it would have looked it okay accurate. But yeah, that's my Roy Burns cosplay. It's not fully done. There's still a lot of things I need to do. Like I, I'm thinking about getting some blue masking tape and then I'm just gonna draw the stencil because I am not gonna pay 70 bucks for a NECA Roy Burns mask that's fiberglass it's not that really it's not that great and uh, I mean it was pretty cool the NECA mask I would get it if I had the money to but again this costume and plus all this other stuff already cost 60 and that's like with a jumpsuit with it as well that's 70 bucks for one thing so bye guys